The report section will allow you to visualize your data into charts. You can visualize data for requirements, tests, bugs, and also see the activity log. On the requirements page, I've chosen to draw up a chart here based on status. So you can see all the requirements that have a certain status. If you hold the mouse cursor over a specific part of the chart, you can see that six are proposed while three requirements are in test. You can choose to visualize your chart either as pie charts or as bar charts. You can choose to base your chart on a view, either all your requirements or a saved view in your project. In this case, I created a view for Sprint 1 and one for mobile application. Clicking on one of these views will draw up a chart based on this view. On the reports page for testing, you can view the execution result. Click the drop down menu to base the charge on execution result. From your current view, you can see that you have four test cases that have passed, one that have not been run yet, and three that have failed. I can also choose to base this charge on execution result and priority. That means if I click on the bar for OK, I will see which priority those test cases have. Here you can see that I have two test cases that have high priority and two test cases that have low priority out of those that have been executed and passed. The reports page for bugs is a great way to show your stakeholders how your bugs are doing. In this case, you can see that I have filtered on priority and on status. Of all my bugs in this view, two have high priority, while one has medium priority. If you like, you can show this to your stakeholders online in RecTest, or you can choose to export it. You can export this chart to JPEG format, PNG, or PDF.